Hey guys, it's Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to attempt to follow a Nikki Tutorials video. So Nikki Tutorial posted about a few weeks ago a video called The Truth Testing Tati Beauty and Jaclyn Cosmetics. Well, I have Tati Beauty and Jaclyn Cosmetics and I felt like the look that Nikki did was something that's definitely out of my comfort zone so I wanted to see if by following her video I could get a similar look. Um, I'm really nervous. I will have an AirPod in my ear for this video just so I can watch her video and not have um, my computer audio playing on my camera. I would rather just insert the video later. Um, that way you guys don't hear like anything weird. I don't know what to do. But um, I already moisturized my face with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. I have never tried this before. I just got it. And I'm really excited. Okay, I put a little bit on the spatula. And I'm gonna... Ooh. Wow. Tatcha just... They know how to do it. Wow, okay. I feel... Moisturized. So, um, without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so that looks like the first thing that Nikki is going in with on this tutorial is the Morphe Primer, the Morphe Revitalizer Foundation Primer. I don't have that one, but I have the Morphe Priming Beauty Oil, so I'm going to actually just take this and hope that it gives me a similar look. And I do have issues with my nose, so I am going to go ahead with the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer um, to fill in my nose. Alright, again, for the foundation, she's going to use a Morphe foundation. I don't have a Morphe foundation. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Longwear Foundation in the shade 150. So she is going in with the Juno & Co Microfiber Sponge. Um, I am actually not using my Juno & Co today. I typically use my Juno & Co. This one's really dirty, but um, because it was dirty, I wanted to use my ColourPop um, one. <laughs> so for concealer, Nikki is actually going to go into Marc Jacobs Beauty The Accomplice Concealer and I'm actually going to use the Jeffree Star Magic Wand. I just got this for Christmas. This is the shade C7. For setting powder underneath of the eye, um, she is using Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla and Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the um, Hourglass um, Veil Translucent Setting Powder to set my eyes. So. She actually takes the powder all over her face, so I'm going to do the same thing. Next up, she's going to take the Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Brightening Powder in the shade Do Me. Thank you. 
So she then jumps off camera to do her brows and um, I'm gonna do the same, so I will be right So back. she's going to use her P. Louise um, eye base and I'm going to use my Morphe Eyelid Primer. Kind of looks like she has a brush similar to this one. So this is the brush that I'm gonna use. She went into Soothe in the matte and she is all right, she's kind of packing it right here on the outside. The next thing that she does is she creates a mixture of Soothe and Aura and she starts to blend out the line here. So next up, it looks like she's taking a flat packing brush and taking in the memory shade um, in the formula of sequin. So I'm gonna do that as well, I am terrified. it looks like she grabbed like a small little blending brush and she took a tiny tiny bit of that sequin and now she's trying to blend out the edges a little bit onto the lid. You guys, this looks so, I look like I have a black eye. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. Why does it look so good on her? This is so scary. I look insane For this she goes ahead and she puts aura on the center of the lid i just don't feel like mine looks like hers taking the dark ritual matte on a brush and blending that under the eye so now I will do that you guys I think I'm just gonna end up looking like a raccoon this is so fun how does she look like that and I look like this I I need answers except she picks up poet in the matte shade I honestly look like I just have a black eye. How does this look good on her? Okay, so this is what the one eye looks like finished. Um, I don't think it looks like hers at all, but I'm going to go ahead and finish um, my other eye and hope that it gets better, so I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I feel like Beetlejuice. But, um, this is my finished eye look. 
I actually did not put on any lashes. I did do my mascara. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but I did put on the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is my go-to mascara. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Uh, so now we're gonna jump into the rest of the face. I actually have the same bronzer that she's using, Private Island by Fenty Beauty. In this video, Nikki uses two different types of Patrick Ta blushes. I don't have any, but they look semi-similar to like this one and this one, and she mixes them, so I, I'm gonna mix them too and hope that they do well. This is the blush trio um, from Morphe called Pop of Peach. Okay, so that is my combination of the blush. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but let's just keep going. Okay, so um, she is going into the Jaclyn Hill Loose Beaming Highlight and Extra, and I actually have that right here, so I'm gonna go into that too. Okay, so she's using this fan brush, and she's picking it up. Hold on. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, ooh. Holy shit. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I did win the whole PR collection. Um, I have a video where I show you guys um, some shades and some swatches. Um, not all of it because I didn't want to open everything up, but, um, if you're interested in that video, I will have it linked up here somewhere. I'm just gonna grab a small little brush, and she put, like, the tiniest little bit of it right here on her nose. She put it right here. Okay, so now she's going in with, um, a lip liner, uh, from Patrick Ta. I don't have that. I'm just going to use my NYX. Nude pink retractable one. I don't have the Patrick Ta shades that she used, so I'm gonna use Ofra Cosmetics shade uh, Dubai and hope that will do something. Okay, so now that I put that on, I'm actually gonna use the shade Manila from Ofra Cosmetics as well. Alright you guys, so after she put on setting spray, that was the finished look. So I guess this is also my finished look. Um, let me show you how it looks. Alright you guys, so let me know what you think about how I followed this tutorial. Do you think it looks semi-close to what Nikki did? I would love your feedback. If you like this video and you want to see me do more follow-alongs, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!